Hello there, my name is Derek Scott. I'm a psychotherapist and registered social worker. And I recently got a call from a woman who wanted to know how she could work with her own personality system. She can't afford a therapist, she doesn't have access to an IFS therapist. So I put this video together to help people in those situations. If you have a therapist that's not available for you or you can't afford a therapist, then um, this is really to get you started working with your own system. If you're not familiar with the internal family systems model of the personality, uh, please have a look at Understanding the Personality System, which is on YouTube. Okay, so um, if you've had a few sessions with an IFS therapist and you're not able to continue, uh, then you've already got the ball rolling, you've got started. This video may be helpful for you too. One of the nice things about this model is it doesn't foster dependence on the therapist. So. Uh, you're able to inquire of your own system and uh, not rely on a therapist to be constantly providing what you can provide for your own parts. Uh, some people's systems, I think, need the extra boost of a therapist to help them to get going, uh, and some people's don't. So, as you explore your system, you'll get a sense of that for yourself. Now, in this video, I'm only um, showing the steps that would typically be undertaken when you're working with your parts. So don't expect your system to move this readily or this rapidly uh, and don't be concerned about that. Everybody's system is different. Uh, quite often people say, oh, how do I get started? And what often gets in the way of starting are skeptical parts that say, oh, there, there is no self or I don't have self-energy or um, there aren't all these different parts. And so if you've got a skeptical part, bring your curiosity to it. What if there was what if you did have different parts? What if uh, you did have a self? And if you've ever been curious about why you do what you do, or why other people do what they do, or if you've ever cared about somebody else's pain, that's self-energy. That's all we're talking about. Curiosity, compassion. You have that capacity, you have self-energy. Alright, so the goals of doing this work, the goals of paying attention to your own system, uh, are to have more balance and harmony within the system, and allowing more of that self-energy to be present more often. And part of the way we do that is by letting your parts know that you're there, simply that. And that's very simple. What you might start to do is appreciate the different parts that you have. For example, uh, when you tie up your shoes, well, that's a shoe tying part. And that part worked really, really hard to learn how to tie up shoes, probably when you were five or six. So you can just thank it. Thanks for tying up my shoes. Thank the part for doing the banking. Thank the part of you that gets you out to work in the morning or whatever you do in the morning. Just thank the different parts of you as you notice them during the day. Thank your planning parts. And thank, the, thank the parts that get you on vacation. Thank the parts that help you parent. Whatever your parts do, just offer them an appreciation now and again, and it'll bring more of your self-energy into, into your system, and they'll begin to recognize that you're there. Now, what's helpful to understand in this model is that there are no bad parts. Right? There may be parts in extreme roles. There may be parts, there will be parts that other parts judge and don't think are very good. But there are no parts in your system that have a bad intent for you. Once you understand their intent, especially if you're curious about their intent, that they'll let you know how they intend to benefit you. Now some parts might be in extreme places, holding burdens, those are beliefs or feelings which are hard for them, and you may be able to help them to release those. If you can't, don't worry about that, but if you're able to, that's good. Often these beliefs are taken on very young by parts that feel that they're, you know, not good enough or unworthy and what we call low self-esteem is a, a part that holds that belief about itself and quite often sort of takes over the system. Now you might want to watch this video several times as you'll notice different parts will probably be watching it. Uh, my system often starts with a skeptical part so it looks very uh, very quizzically and uh, what's this guy talking about? That's my quizzical, no, that's my skeptical part. So this video is really uh, designed to help you look at your own system and some of the common protector concerns that uh, don't allow you to get in touch with some of your more vulnerable part. Uh, this video is really about a flow of what a, a session would look like if you're working with a therapist. Um, now an IFS therapist is uh, essentially a parts detector. So the role of the therapist is to help you to recognize when there's a part 
that's present and there's not as much self energy around. Um, when there's sufficient curiosity or compassion to allow the parts to be heard, which is what they need, they need to be heard by you, uh, then the work just flows. So uh, what you'll notice in this video is uh, me in the therapist role coming in to help me in the client role uh, identify when there are parts that are present, uh, not allowing access to the, the other parts that are trying to get the attention of me with self-energy. So if you're beginning to work with your parts uh, in this way, it's a good idea to set aside some time in a quiet space to do this, and you might want to do this as a meditation. Okay, here comes the video. Okay, so I'll tell you why I uh, wanted to see you this week. It, my boyfriend's driving me completely crazy. Just crazy. Uh, so, you know, I got really mad at him, really angry at him. Because he complained about going to my mother's for her birthday. And it's, it's once a year, and it's my mother. And if I don't go, she'd be crazy, right? So, uh, he doesn't seem to get that. It, it's... Uh, just driving me mad, so we had a big fight, and then, you know, I mean, I get that his parents don't speak to him, and that that's hard for him, but he just, I need, I need him to get this, it's once a year, and so, it's driving me crazy, and then later I felt like I was just uh, being really mean by insisting, and then I felt really guilty, and uh, he's just, he's driving me crazy, he doesn't get this. So it sounds like a part of you got mad at him, and then another part of you told you that you shouldn't have done that, is that right? Well, yeah, and then he gives me these big, you know, puppy dog eyes, and then I feel bad. And... <sighs> but if we don't go, my mum gets upset, so who, who do I upset, him or my mother? I can't win. Right? And I know I shouldn't get mad at him. <sighs> I don't know. That part saying you shouldn't get mad, ask it if it'll let you get to know that angry part better. Oh, I know all about that angry part. I have to rein that angry part in most of the time. Okay, I get that this part thinks that it knows all about the angry part, but would it be okay to just bring some attention to it anyway? Is that okay? Yeah, okay, that'd be fine. Okay, so whereabouts do you notice this angry part in or around your body? Mm, around my shoulders and neck, all around here. That's where it is. Real? Yeah, I can feel it. Angry. Okay, now notice how you feel towards this angry part. No, I don't like it. It causes all these fights and I just wish it wouldn't. Okay, so here's a part that doesn't like it. Would it be okay for that part to step aside too? Maybe hang out with the other one? Mm, okay, I guess, yeah. Okay, now I'm wondering why it gets so mad. It's telling me the Brad should just get how important Mum is to me, that's all. What it's saying is, if he realized that, how important my mother is to me, then we wouldn't have to have these huge fights every time we do something with her. That sounds like you're hearing this part. Does what it say make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, so let it know that it makes sense to you, and then see if there's anything else it would like to let you know about itself. Maybe how long it's been around in your system. Well, that's odd. I'm hearing for a long time. It says since I was 15. Oh, it's gone. I can't hear it anymore. Okay, what do you notice when you focus on it? Nothing, just blank. Okay, is it okay for this blanking part to let you come back to the 15-year-old? Um, okay. Yeah, 15. Okay. Very He's telling me about being teased at school and being mad at his friend who wouldn't stand up for him. That's what he's showing me. Does he know you're listening to him? Yeah, I think so. I think he knows. So just let him know that you're there and let him know who you are and let him know how old you are. 